first thoughts when you saw Louisville versus Mississippi State in Jacksonville? Um, I was excited. You know, uh, I'm a down south guy from Alabama, so I grew up watching uh, Alabama, Auburn, Mississippi State, Ole Miss, Tennessee. Like, I just basically grew up on SEC football, so, I mean, I'm excited to be uh, playing those guys. How much do you guys still have to prove in a bowl game? Um, I still feel like we have a lot to prove. You know, uh, we had a rocky season in, like the beginning, um, had a few losses, but you know, this train, we picked the train up and got it moving and you know, we ain't trying to slow down. So, I mean, we still got a lot to prove, but we ready. Charles, the equity learned from all of this, the life lessons about when things were going so wrong, maybe back to the BC game to now, what have you learned through all of this? Uh, just to say, like, if you, if, you, if you have a goal in life, you know, just to stay, stay committed to it, and you know, grind it out. It's adversity will hit you, and you got to be able to, to bounce back from adversity. Was there anything you guys did in that off week, or anything that brought you back, or was it just getting back to work, or did you talk at all about finishing strong? Or? Um, we just continue to stay together. We never, we never stuff separated. We stay together as a team, and we continue to work hard. I can't say through every week. Every loss we had, every win, we kept the same game day tradition, and you know, we uh, we picked it up and stayed together. That was the um, the most important part about that. Mississippi State will come in with an interim coach after their coach left. Mm -hmm. Do you have a perspective on or thoughts on what that would be like going into the bowl game uh, if, with you know with, what, what that process will be like? I mean, that's I really don't pay attention to those type of things. I uh, I just watch film and basically do what the coaches tell, my coaches tell me to do and my teammates. That's the only thing I really focus on, what they coach and staff. Uh, I don't really pay attention to that. Now that you've been to four different bowls, what's the key to a good bowl performance? What what needs to happen between now and then for you guys to play well? Practice well, practice well, and practice well. <laughs> <laughs> How's that look like? Um, just coming to, coming, to, um, coming to practice every day, working hard, you know, same, same as if it was a championship game or getting ready for an ACC championship. You want to prepare like you're getting ready for a championship. So you got to come and train hard, practice hard, you know, watch a lot of film. Um, yeah. What does it mean to you guys? As a bull veteran also, how much do you look forward to learning that what the swag is going to be from the, what you guys are going to get from the bull? <laughs> uh, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm what has excited. made you guys so hard to beat these last three games? I mean, it's been fairly one-sided. Is there a commonality to the reason you guys have been able to pick up your performances so dramatically? Uh, I can say practicing hard. We've just been practicing hard, man. Uh, our coaches, our coaches stand on us every day. They coaching us to to the highest to our highest potential, trying to make sure we be the best players we can be. Are you surprised? I'm not surprised. I expect it. We got a great coach. Got a great coach.